Am I the butthole for expecting my boyfriend to replace all my socks, the exact same ones as I had before? This might seem silly. I, 24 female, like wearing cheerful socks, since my uniform is all white, currently working as a phlebotomist, it usually cheers up the patients too. I've spent a few years collecting strange socks, ones with sushi, pizza, corgis, cats, Nick Cage, etc. I think I had about 30 pairs. My boyfriend, 29 male, has always hated them, and thinks they're childish. So I agree to only wear them to work, and never on dates or around his friends slash family. I thought that was fair. On Boxing Day his parents came over for coffee and gifts, just the four of us, which is allowed where I live, and keeping a solid 3 meters apart. I accidentally put on a pair of childish socks, and his mother made a comment about it. I explained that I wear them to work to cheer people up, and she liked that. My boyfriend didn't. The next day all my socks were gone, and the drawer was filled with plain black socks. I asked my boyfriend, and he told me he threw them away and purchased some more appropriate socks, so I won't embarrass him in front of his parents again. I told him that that's insane, they were mine and he had no right to throw them away. Not to mention that I spend quite some time collecting them. So I made a list of the ones I remembered I had, and told him that I expect the same ones as a replacement. He told me that's completely unreasonable, and that it would take a lot of time slash effort slash money for him to find those specific pairs. I haven't changed my mind yet, they cost me a lot of time and effort to find two. I think he's being controlling, he thinks I'm being unreasonable and demanding. Ida? I think I might be a butthole for asking for the exact same pairs, I know that'll take a lot of effort to find. Edit, thanks everyone for replying, I've realized that this might not be a normal fight and am evaluating the relationship. Holy crap. NTA. Honestly this is breakup worthy behavior on his part. He stole your personal property. He's trying to force you to stop doing something you enjoy because he doesn't like it, even though it doesn't impact him at all. He sounds like a huge controlling butthole. This story is almost unbelievable. Low stakes, deeply superficial concern on his part, wildly disproportionate response to low stakes concern, theft, refusal to take perfectly reasonable steps to rectify the egregious behavior. What the ever-loving F is original post doing hanging around? I'd have left the day he did it. NTA. Reminds me of the jar dude. Edit, by popular demand, web link. Wasn't there also a guy who didn't like his teacher girlfriend wearing fun outfits to school? Seemed to remember she dumped his sad little A. Yeah. In that one the guy also said it was embarrassing to his parents because she went shopping with his mom while wearing a fun dress. He said his mom complained. Then when she called the mom to apologize the mom flipped out on her son for lying because she said no such thing and she loves the dresses. Oh god yes, that was it. I would love to think there's only one guy and he's just working his way through amazing women but sadly it seems there's a whole bunch of them. Some men hate women who are happy as they don't know how to make anyone happy, even themselves. They'll never make these women as happy as silly dresses, fun socks or cute jars do. My husband steals my fun socks, but by that, I mean he wears them. He thinks they're fun, too. They're silly and make us both smile. The only reason to have such a serious issue with something as trivial as cute socks is just to make someone else as miserable as the person complaining. If I can't be happy, no one can. Luckily your hubby subscribes to if those socks make you happy, can I try them? Which is double happiness and a healthy way to respond to something that brings someone joy. I'm a jolly socks person and my husband loves it. We went to a wedding a couple of years ago and he borrowed a pair of my bright turquoise socks with watermelons on them and showed everyone. He's in his 50s by the way. The op's boyfriend is a miserable so and so as well as a controlling ah. We're slowly morphing into one another in a lot of ways. Lol. I buy my significant other's fun socks and the boxer briefs to match. I've created a, ridiculously coordinated, monster. I came here to say something similar. My friend is a period costumer. Said friend went with a bunch of costumers to carnival in Venice. They took a great photo of a bunch of them in costume at a renaissance villa, all having a wonderful time. Some man literally had the audacity to comment on Instagram, there's nothing more revolting than a self-satisfied group of women. 
This dude was big mad about a bunch of women he doesn't know having the audacity to be happy. Why is that guy even on Instagram, then? He should go and vent miserable gram. Miserable gram. Ha ha. No but seriously I think some folks already on there. Oh, I follow a bunch of period costumes and I remember that. Spawned a great self-satisfied woman hashtag with people posting photos of themselves looking proud in their favorite costumes. The revolt is on ladies. Be happy. Be self-satisfied. Viva la revolution. Honestly there's just a whole community of these kinds of people. Like that one girl that stole her boyfriend's gaming keyboard and sold it for like $20 because it was too loud. Suddenly my appreciation for my husband increases as I remember him asking me to play with a keyboard tester before he ordered his new keyboard. Some of the keys really annoyed me, so he took those two off the list of possibilities. I was married to a guy like this. The best I was ever able to figure out is that he had an idea in his head how a GF slash wife should be. I was an object to be changed and customized. Anything I did outside his predetermined concept of how I should be was confusing or rage inducing. I didn't act right. I should just know. I should be like XYZ because that's how he wanted it. Men like this don't see the issue because women aren't living things to them they are accessories. Thank you kind Redditors. Been there. The do's and don'ts list never stops growing until one day you're crying in a JC penny because you aren't allowed to pick your own clothes. I can remember looking at my closet trying to decide what shirt to wear and not start an issue. My ex threw away my clothes, smashed my perfume bottles, wouldn't let me shower by myself or run the hot water, only paid half the rent but told his parents to give him money because I wasn't making enough to cover bills, wouldn't let me wear makeup, picked a huge fight every time midterms and finals came around, turned up the volume on his video games when I tried to study. I could go on for literal days. Totally agree with you there. My ex was a controlling butthole who was just like this, and I was called stupid or unfeminine when I dared to step out of what he deemed correct. Took me longer than I'm proud, but I eventually dumped his ass and was never happier. I'm so glad you got out of this. It's so weird to exist in a space where you aren't treated like an actual person, but the reflection of someone else's needs slash desires. I also had a husband like this. Anything I did that wasn't his idea was immediately wrong and ridiculous and common sense would tell me that no sane person would ever, ever do that. It's control. And it's ugly. That's the part that was hard for me. My family was dysfunctional and his appeared to be so much better as if they had their crap together. So a lot of his criticism I really took as him helping me to be a better more normal person. It took me a long time to figure out the problem with my family as we didn't care what people thought. We talked openly about depression, and money, and whatever issues anyone had. We knew everyone's personal issues in detail. My ex's family had just as many problems but everyone just pretended none of it was happening and the family having a good name was priority. In time I came to see I was actually raised with the correct attitude of just loving people for who they are and never pretending life doesn't suck or hand you a really raw deal sometimes. Instead of putting on a facade, you acknowledge the bad stuff, laugh when you can, dust yourself off, and move on. Good grief, I'm glad that he's an ex. Some men just need therapy. Or deprogramming. I'm so glad you said, was married. I would wager that enough men are like this that any woman who has been in multiple relationships has a story like those. Yup. I had one in college. Also had a female roommate who did the same sort of crap. She threw away items from my closet when I was out on multiple occasions, many of which were handmade and irreplaceable, because she was helping me fit in and found it embarrassing if I wore certain things out in public with her. For instance, she threw out a rainbow pattern crocheted sweater that my dead grandmother made, which my mom had saved for me for 20 plus, years. I like your optimistic take, smiley face, unfortunately, I've encountered at least two. I also have a fairly extensive sock and tights collection that are near and dear to me, original post is so not the butthole and the bf at the very least seems like he'd suck the joy right out of a room. I married one, sadly. Free now. That was a good one. I think he was also way older than her and hated that the dresses were immature. When she wore them to engage her elementary school students. Classic. Yeah I think he was 48 and she was late 20s or early 30s? 
Wasn't there also a guy who asked if he was the butthole because he replaced all of his girlfriend's mismatched socks with white and black ones? And this one, the guy mad over mismatched socks. Socks are apparently quite controversial. Web link. Even strangers hate mismatched socks. Also, original post is definitely NTA, my sister and I have both been on the receiving end of this argument, almost strictly from boyfriends, or male relatives, which is just weird at this point because why are y'all so obsessed with my socks? But it was funny to see my dad come full circle over socks. Story time, we started wearing mismatched socks when we were little, because our dad hated it. He was an active, now recovering, alcoholic, with a slew of mental problems, and being kids was a rough time for us, I got speckles of black spray paint on my white rollerblades once, and he grounded me for the rest of the year, before he smashed them with a hammer while promising I would never own another pair again, just as an example. Whenever we would wear mismatched socks he hated it, and would be really mean, so when our mom divorced him? My sister and I started wearing mismatched socks everywhere despite him. We made a game of it, whoever could have the funniest combination got the top bunk. Our mom would buy us fun socks to mismatch, and this has continued our whole lives. Recently I wore a pair of socks that are Jean Grey's costume, so green and yellow with Christmas elf style fringe around the ankles, and she hulk for the other one. Same elf fringe, but pink, and a different green, and she hulk on them. A grown ass man in Walmart quietly came up to me and told me I would never get a man with fashion like that. That I needed to grow up, and start acting like an adult, rather than wearing stupid, mismatched socks, and a leg brace decorated with dinosaurs. I was embarrassed and went to cry. My, now much better, dad on the other hand? Lost his mind and sat yelling at this man for a solid minute about trying to rob her of what little joy she has in life laughing my butt off. Then the guy was mad at my dad for humiliating him, because people were staring. Edit, added judgment. I never match my socks, what's the point? Who has the time? And slowly this has spread throughout my friend group, the brighter and more mismatched the better. I'm glad I've only had sock supportive people in my life. I've had strangers get annoyed at me because my baby was wearing mismatched socks. They were clean and part of the same set. And my kid was subtly dressed as a flame because I was bored. I'd forgotten. He was a total fruit loop. So many of them about it seems. Sometimes I wish we had follow up to these buttholes. Did they get dumped? Are they still flipping out about socks? Inquiring minds want to know. NTA op. You should consider getting out of this relationship. I wear fun socks all the time, and my boyfriend doesn't care. In fact, he just bought me a bunch of new Captain America socks for no reason other than he knew it would make me happy. Mismatched socks guy tried posting an update a month or so later but it got quickly removed because the post included a discussion of suicidal thoughts slash behavior. I'm thinking he definitely got dumped and was not emotionally handling it well. Which just goes to show, a lot of these guys are completely oblivious to how controlling, insane, and abusive their behavior can be. They're shocked when they are called out and left and they break down over it. Holy crap oh my god. What is wrong w these guys? How insane. Right? How does this become your hill to die on as a partner? Maybe this should be the new gold standard screening question on dating apps. Do you care what socks your partner wears? I love how that guy said her clothes were inappropriate for the grocery store like she was a Miss Frizzle themed stripper. From now on I am only going to the grocery store dressed as a Miss Frizzle themed stripper. Wow. That's so sad. I'm also a teacher who dresses up for certain lessons at school too, and in contrast, my boyfriend is constantly bragging about it to other people. Like, to the point, where I'm a bit embarrassed by it, because not everybody needs to know that I sometimes teach all day in a night costume and a funny accent. What a bizarre thing to be upset about. NTA, and this is such a huge red flag. He's being unreasonably controlling over socks for God's sake. I don't know how long you've been dating or if he's exhibited other controlling behavior but typically these types of behaviors only get worse with time. First is socks, next is your entire wardrobe and then what you eat, how you do your hair. He can use that would embarrass me as the reason for controlling literally anything you do, except it's a BS reason and he had no right to throw away your belongings like that. 
dating for eight-ish months, and this is the first time anything like this has happened. First time he's thrown something away, but he's already tried to control it enough to the point where you agree to only wear them to work. You've broken this agreement one time, by accident, and his first choice for punishment is to throw away all your socks. Please don't kid yourself this is something new, he's been working up to this for a while. He probably bought those black socks a while ago just waiting for her to mess up that one time. Saddened by how probable it is that something so strange could be true. That's the only way he could have changed all of the socks so quickly. Those ugly black socks have been sitting in the plastic bag he got from the store waiting for the perfect moment to teach Original Post a lesson on how not to embarrass him by wearing something she likes. This will not change, nor will it get better. Because if this time it's only socks, next time it will be a new haircut Original Post has chosen to try out. Etc, etc I would absolutely dump him over this. This is a giant breach of trust. OMG. My ex was always at the ready to teach me a lesson. He admitted to letting behavior he hated slide just so that he could catch me the next time and really let me have it, just so I would feel doubly guilty. Ugh, that's disgusting. I hadn't thought about that. The agreement one time in her own home. This is what gets me the most. No one tells me what to wear at home. Dude, nobody gets to decide what you wear anywhere, period. F that controlling crap. Original post not the butthole. Okay, but is it really breaking the agreement as she is wearing them in her home? Restricting something as stupid as socks where she lives is extremely controlling. Up, you are not the butthole and need to leave. Maybe throw away all of his socks before you go? A, might be kind of petty I guess. And did we miss the part where the mother actually liked that original post did such a thing? Like. She didn't find it odd or anything. But the boyfriend took that and used it against original post anyways. Is this your first serious relationship? It is. I'm not sure what's considered normal in relationships, but judging by the replies this isn't. Read my other response to you. After writing it only then I thought this must be her first relationship if she's not seeing that this is abusive and controlling behavior. Run girl, it's not worth it. Don't take abuse from anyone. You've only been together for 8 months and he felt comfortable enough to do that? What the hell? Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.